Quantified self, uh, to me it means tracking data about your body. As simple as weighing yourself on a scale once a day to as complicated as uh, wearing a device at night to measure every 30 seconds your sleep state to invasive measures that say like your doctor will do a blood test and come back with 60 different things to look at. Uh, well, those are data about your body at the time the blood was taken and then you can look at that over time. So the idea of having time series and being able to see how your, say, glucose changes over time, which diabetics have to monitor all the time, they're quantifying that aspect of their body. So then in that sense, they're becoming quantified self. And the reason you do this, you modify your behavior, and it's the same thing as if you're driving a car. You look at the speedometer, and if it's a 60 mile an hour zone, then you try to stay under 60. And so this idea of biofeedback altering your behavior so that you get a desired goal is why people quantify themselves. If all that comes out of the quantified self is to get people to be more aware that they need more exercise and they need to eat less and more nutritious food, and we begin to back off the percentage of our population that is overweight or obese and therefore likely to become uh, diabetic, then that alone will have made a huge contribution to the future health of America. And it's the most important thing that can be done to reduce the deficit in the long term for this country, which is almost all going to be driven by healthcare costs.